Hey guys, let's play you Style here, and we're back with another video today. Today we're actually going to be looking at the new release, Duff Bond, or known as in fucking Tropopolis over here, Leopard Mon. So, we got a couple of options to call him. Uh, he does start off with the Elec Mon line and then goes up from there. He is also a 3 out of 5 Digimon, because I just want to get him, get this video out, and move on with my life right now. Um... Other than that, this isn't going to be like a normal one where I do like a highly edited one where I break it all down or anything. We're just going to look at his stats, animation, skills, etc. And we'll just fly right through it. It's not going to be too long. So, starting off here, we have Elecmon and just taking a look. That's my stats. Uh, taking a look at his stats, they're, they're okay. There are normal uh, rookie stats. He is a data type. He is also electric type. Nothing extreme there. He does have two skills. His F1 is... Sparkling Thunder and his F2 is Nine Tails. It's not that bad. To take a look at his auto attacks, they're pretty much just that. They're they're simple. They're very simple. He jumps up in the air, hits them, or he just headbutts them. So it's it's not that bad. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, actual Sparkling Thunder. His F1 again. Oh, if I can. It's pretty much, he gains a little bit of electricity and pisses on him. <laughs> Nothing extreme there happens. Am I getting anything good? I get a floppy disk? Ooh. Uh, we'll go ahead and do it one more time. It, it's a cool little attack. The animation kind of goes into the ground, which I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to. Attacks opponent with electricity. That's all it fucking says. That's great. Uh, let's go and take a look at his F2, which F2 again is nine tails. And that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it looks like he does a front flip and then somehow his tail kind of grows. Like very elastic-y. It, that's, that's a little weird. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, that is Elokmon. Let's go and take a look at his champion form, which is, of course, Leomon. It's, it's a fucking miracle here. Let's go and just... Get all the uh, skills and everything done, animations, whatever it may be. Simply because it, that's the, the easiest part to do, actually. Eh, you can say any part of it, it's really easy. So far, that's just his auto attacks. They're nothing extremely like good to write home about, but they're, they're something. It's better than nothing, to be honest. Alright, and let's take a look at his F1, which is Joyuken. I don't know, I like the sound of that. Sounds cool. Nope, I thought I had something targeted. He basically does the little lion punch where he just throws the fire lion head at him. It could be better. Let's zoom out so we can see this. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty much that. It's a normal Liam online. His F2 is Jugamaru. I'm, I'm assuming I'm saying that right. And let's take a look at this one as well. I like how his knife sword thing still on his it's on his back pulls it out but he's still hitting him what the fuck is this game but it's not that bad it does look kind of cool uh, to take a look at his stats they're pretty much the same as like a normal champion normal Leobon he is a vaccine type and he is a fire attribute so he does go from that data electric to vaccine fire so it's something new it's not that bad to uh, take a look at his ultimate, we do have, I don't remember the name of this Leomon. Bravo Leomon. I knew it was something Leomon, but I forgot. Uh, let's actually just go over his stats since I was actually there. He is another vaccine type, but he does go from that electric, then fire. But now he is a metal type or steel type, whatever you want to call it. Um, so he has changed another attribute right there. But he, he's probably like the coolest one here. He basically has a bunch of rotators on his arms and legs. They're giant. Let's take a look at his auto attacks just because we can. It's pretty much it. He just kind of one twos them. I know there's a second one. I'll eventually get it. I said I'll eventually get it. Okay, I'm apparently not getting it. Alright, we're just going to say fuck it and we're going to skip it and say I got it. Because every Digimon has two uh, uh, two auto attacks, so fuck me. He's going to do his F1, which is Cyclonic Kick. Ooh. 
he basically does a little like three hit combo with his legs and it's it's okay you know it, it, it's cool it could be better uh, we do have the king of fist I meaning he's gonna fist you let's go and take a look at this one this one does look a little bit better than his champion let's see if we can get it this way Yeah, basically what it's looking like, it creates a flying tornado around the projectile, or at least encases it. Uh, but other than that, it kind of just explodes on contact. It's not, it's not bad. I like it. I like it. So let's go take a look at the newest Royal Knight to the game, Duffmon himself, or Leopardmon. Uh, for this game himself, uh, itself, it does not actually have his um, like leopard form or beast form, whatever the fuck we want to call it. That is not in the game, nor is his X antibody. So we are just running with the normal Duffmon here, and I will go ahead and actually remove my necklace, or at least switch to my necklace that doesn't fucking do anything for attack speed. So fuck it. Uh, other than that, let's go and take a look at his uh, auto attacks. Basically, does a backflip, stabs him, smacks him a lot with the fucking uh, fencing sword here. But other than that, it's it's pretty good. I like it. I want to get another flying one real quick. I said I want to get another flying one. <sighs> Bruh. There we go. We got another flying one. And let's go ahead and just take a look at his F1, which is a Black Aura Blast. Ooh. And I, I tested these skills out just to see if there would be something I want to make a video on. But of course, you know I'm going to make a video on it. He basically, yeah, does that. He kind of charges up his uh, sword. And then shoots out a giant blast out. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. I think the blast is a little bit too big and too flashy for him. But I could be completely wrong about that. And that tends to happen a lot. Alright. So for his F2 here. We actually have Extinction Wave. This is his like signature, uh, signature skill that you see in most games for him. Basie flies up, charges another attack, slices the opponent, and sends it skyrocketing. This skill actually has a pretty good range to it. Like, I can say it all the way back here. Smack him. It's not bad. It could be worse. Honestly, it could be worse. I'm not going to say it's a perfect uh, skill, but it could be worse. And he does also have a ride mode here, which is not bad. But, you know, you got something here for you. Uh, since we are running around, I do want to take a look at his stats. So he is back to being a uh, data type, but he is also a steel attribute. So he has almost the best of all three worlds, I guess. I don't know. Uh, being a data steel type, that's kind of cool. He is a kind of a okay attack speed as well. Um, his stats do make him an S rank. Plus, I got what you're seeing right now. We are actually seeing his ride mode. It's nothing extreme. We've seen it. We sit on the Digimon's arms and we just run. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's a Duffmon. He, he's okay. They don't have an event or anything that's doubling his stats. So that's a good part. And that actually exactly does it. There's nothing really I want to go over in the Duffmon video. I'm working on the carding video right now. Um, I'm trying to get into EDG hard mode. So we'll we'll take a look at that. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.